How do you deal with meta tags and meta titles in your Laravel projects? Let's take a look at an example and I will show you two ways how to deal with them, how to set them for all your pages. So let's imagine you have an eShop catalog and a few blade pages. So product blade, which extends front, index blade for categories, which extends front, and some more pages that extends the same layout and you need to pass somehow meta title to the front main layout. And probably the most straightforward way is to do that from the controllers. In my case, it's a simple catalog eShop from one of my previous demo projects. And let's take a look at the title. So it's by default Laravel, and I will show you why. So if we go back to our front blade, this is our variable meta title, or if it's not present, it's empty. Or we should actually stick to config app name. That's the default name of your project. So the title wouldn't be ever empty. App name, if we go back to config app, name is Laravel. And the way I set up the meta title is from controller. In this project example, there's only one controller, home controller for index list of categories. And then there's category and then there's page for product. So three pages basically. In index, I just set up meta title as a config app name and pass that to the view, but actually we can delete that because we specify that as a default parameter in front blade just now. But then if you do that in the controller for all the other pages in every controller method, you need to add the logic for meta title. So for example, for category, there are three layers of categories, three levels. So for every level, I set meta title here, meta title there, depending on the category name. So three options and then pass that as a variable. And similar for product. For product, I set meta title and pass that as a variable. And this is probably the most straightforward way. And if we go to a category, this is the title. So category name, then there's subcategory, and then sub subcategory third. It is all working. And if we go to product, it also puts the title. This is some fake data, some Latin words. So don't pay attention to the meaning of that, but it's all working. And this is one way, the most straightforward way, as I say, to do the meta title setting. But this is not very convenient to me, in my opinion. So in every controller, you would have to set up separate variable just for that. Although that method of controller isn't directly responsible for meta title or meta tags. Wouldn't it be cool to have a separate class that takes care of the meta tags? So controllers would be cleaner and somewhere else, someone takes care of that. And I'm presenting to you view composers. View composer is a class that you can define somewhere, for example, in my case, app HTTP view composers and just PHP class. So it doesn't extend anything. You can have method compose and inside of that compose, you need to execute view with, and you can assign any variable to any value. And that variable becomes the global variable for all the views that you specify. So you have meta composer as a composer file, composer class, and then in your service provider, in my case, app service provider, you assign that composer to any view you want. In my case, there was already some separate composer for front end categories, but what I've created here is I'm attaching to layouts front to the same front blade, that composer meta composer. And inside of that composer, I'm setting meta title. So if we uncomment that, then that meta title variable is set from composer and not from the controller anymore. So if we remove that from the controller meta title here, for example, from product method and refresh the page, it is still being set, but this time from composer. The only difference from controller, controller has the logic of products, categories, and any variables that is inside of those methods. In case of Meta Composer, it's probably not the best example, but pretty often titles depend only on the URLs. So in our case, Meta Composer doesn't know anything about products or categories. It just deals with URLs. To be more precise with request segments. So request segment five is number five in the sequence. So this is number one, request segment one. This is number two, which is this one is number two, which is category level one. This is number three, category level two. This is product slug, 
request for, request segment for, and this is ID. So that ID means ID of the product, means that the product exists, but actually product name is inside of here. So we just need to make some changes with str functions. So replace dash to space and then do the first letter uppercase. And similar magic with child category of second level or first level or main category. We're just dealing with different segment of request. And this is, as I said, pretty simple example, maybe not that logical, not every time you can build the meta title from request only. So maybe you can add more logic to the composer file. For example, you can actually query the product here. So product equals product find or something. But then you have a risk of duplicating the query. So you have too many queries, both in the controllers and then the composer. So just do what you think is best for your situation. If you do have the situation that you can set the meta titles and meta tags separately in a separate class without too much logic, then view composers is a pretty good way to do that. And that's it. As often in these videos, I will remind you how can you support my channel because I'm shooting videos almost daily now. But to support that, you can do one of two things. Subscribe to my Laravel courses. Now there are 10 courses available on laraveldaily.teachable.com or use our Quick Admin Panel Laravel Quick Admin Panel Generator, which is at quickadminpanel.com. And see you guys in other videos.